Hi, welcome to my channel, Jomen vs Code. Today we are going to look at how can we configure container applications that are running inside Kubernetes. Every application that we develop requires different configuration values when it is deployed in different environments. For example, when we deploy the application in developing environment, that will take one database, but that will be different when we deploy the same application in QA environment or staging, production, etc. So based on the environment, we need to change our configuration values. What we are seeing here is an application that we will be using for these demos. Please note that uh, this video is not going to talk about how can we add YAML file or what is the basics about Docker file, things like that. For that, please refer another tutorial or just Google for that information. This is an ASP.NET Web API. Here is a co-controller that has an action get env variable the api url to access will be root path slash env vars slash the name of the environment variable the code is very simple it is just returning the value of environment variable that are passing as an argument this is one way of configuring applications there are other ways like app settings or a secret that we'll be seeing in the subsequent sessions now let us run the application and see what is coming I am running using IES Express. Here we can see the application is running and it started with the Swagger page. Swagger page we can see these are the APIs that are exposed from the application. We will be using the echo controller, env vars and the name. Get that URL. Here is the URL echo slash env vars slash my env var. So we can see my value of env var in launch settings.json. This is a full string I have given in the environment variable. Let us see where I have set it. It is in the launch settings. Here if you look at the launch settings for IES Express as environment variable section. In that I have added my env variable. This can be a database connection string or this can be whatever which is okay to be put into the environment variable. Now let us see how this can be deployed to Kubernetes and see how it will be working. I have included the commands that I am using for deployment into Kubernetes in the same solution. Here you can see commands.ps1. This is not really PowerShell script. These are commands that can be even executed from the normal command prompt. First step is to build the Docker file. This is a command for that. This command will be executing from the solution folder. Here it goes docker build the name of the docker image then the file what docker file to be used and the context. It takes some time to build the image. Once the image is built we have to push it to the registry. Now the image has been built. Now let us use next command to push this to registry. I am clearing the window. Second command docker push the registry with the container name and the tag. As you see I am using docker hub. So this is the URL where I am pushing the newly created image. Next step is to deploy this image into Kubernetes as a container application. In order to do that we have to prepare a Kubernetes YAML file. Here it is env var deploy. Here you can see there is a config map. In the config map I have given the namespace then the environment variable name and a value. Then this config map is used in the deployment like this using this uh, env section. Here it says choose the value from the config map. And the name of the config map is env was config map. And the key my env var this has to be injected into the container as environment variable. So when I run the application from container and I access my env where it should be returning the value that I have set in this yaml file. This is a command to deploy the file. It says it created a deployment. As part of the deployment it will be creating one namespace then it will create config map, deployment and a service. Now let us see what is the state of the deployment. This is a command for that kubectl get all then the namespace name. We can see everything is up and running. We are interested in the web API service. That is the way we can access the application. So it says the port number is 32500. So we can navigate in the browser using that port and see what it is returning. So this is how the URL will look like. Only difference is the host name will be different that we have to use the port number. So here we can see my value of my env var present in YAML code. Last time when we run directly from Visual Studio, it says my value of my env are present in launch setting.json. 
so this way we can give a different configuration value when our application is running in different environment for the containerized applications running in kubernetes the link to this sample application is available in the comment section i am planning to do one video per one concept so that it is easy to refer in the future this is for this video in case of queries please add it to the comment box and thanks for watching bye